is so cool about this game is you can catch anything at any time and get a proper idea on how to catch these fish when you're on the water. So, that color doesn't really work. That sky blue is the bomb. It's probably because of the blue and the white, which they have a different color palette than we do. So I don't know what they really see, but they love that color. Even in real life, they love that color. So I'm going to establish the bait. I'm just going to shake it a little. See how I'm moving side to side? My character's moving side to side. I'm creating those little rings, which is sound. Okay, so they're not going to do anything, but they're probably looking at it. Now I'm going to reel down, and I'm just going to pull very lightly over here, which is going to be to my right, but to your left. One crank, boom. Now I'll do a little more dance, a little more dance. Oh, here he comes. Fight. And that's how that bait works on the water, especially with bass. Striper, they want to see it move really quick. Okay, line's going to break. We know that's a big fish. So remember, R1 puts you back to low drag. But you look at your time and you look at your distance. That fish is coming in, so I know it's not too big. So I'm going to go back to high drag. I'm going to rip them in here quick. And that's how you get your practice on a time trial. Get that big fish in there. Look at that one. Okay. That was a big fish. And you saw what I did. Very light manipulation of the bait. You still want that striper though. Where's that striper? There she is right there, right? So I'm gonna throw over just to the side of it. Now to get the bass, I hardly had to move. But for the striper, I want to move quick. And I want to keep the other fish away from her. So I'm going to drag her, drag her out of there. You notice I'm in high drag. You only get one or two warnings before your line breaks. But I'm pulling the fish in even on a low drag. So I go back to high. Let me get her in quicker. That's how you know. If you're not pulling that fish in on low drag, then do not go to high drag. Because if you go to high drag, you're going to break. You don't want to break. So keep it at low drag. When the fish in that uh, distance of length from boat to fish is increasing, keep it in low drag. If you see it decreasing and it's coming back to you, pop it in high drag. Work it as fast as you can. When he gives you that warning, line's going to break, pop it back into low drag. And don't do it again because one out of two, it's going to break. If you're in a tournament, you don't want it to break. If you're in practice, it doesn't matter. You get a better idea how the lines are going to break. So now it's 11.15 in the morning. We got in the water at 6, so we're at 5 hours and 15 minutes. And we've, well, this is a good freaking day, dude. <laughs> the seven fish, okay? <laughs> in less than a half a day. Wow, that's doing good. That doesn't happen in real life. But in this game, it's fun. Now, I want to work that top water. I know there's big fish around these pipes and around these columns. Okay, there's also that little fish. See that little freaking fish right there? That little fish is going to freak it, you know, it's going to mess everything up. So I want to go, there's another little fish. But he's a little bigger than that other little fish. I'm going to drop it right on top of these two and see if I can get them. To react to it. Now first I won't do nothing. I want it to sit there. Maybe I'll wiggle a little. By wiggling like that, you're creating those rings, which is sound waves underwater. Now I want to just pull just a hair. 
There. I'll stop. See? That's how you catch a bass. Very little manipulation. Striper, completely different. However, my partner will probably disagree with you, but uh, I've lost too many fish this week on these type of baits because I was pushing them too fast and not working it. A monster fish. You guys will see YouTube the monster bass that I lose. And if I just had my... Okay, line's going to break. And I still got her in. Uh, technically the line wasn't going to break. I think what also bothers me about this game, and will also bother you, is how can the line break if it's a 15 pound fluorocarbon or a monofilament or hell braid and that's a 3 pound bass. What the game is trying to get you to understand is you want to work with low and high drag. You want to work with movement and you want to work with manipulating the rod and the line to give you more slack to reel in the fish. That's why the game is designed to do that. So we don't want him, we want her. So to get her, let's go to the other side. I have a feeling he's going to come out. So I'm going to wiggle it. See my character doing a little dance? Okay, now, I want to pull it towards her. So I want to go to my left, but in the screen, my right. See, it's right there, it's in front of her. Ah, oh, it's a little one. Eh, does it feel? I think the game's designed to do that. Do not go to low drag, no matter what he says. <laughs> Stay in high drag, get the freaking fish in and out. When you catch these little fish, and these fish that aren't bass, and you're in a tournament, you will be angry. <laughs> Trust me, because you're on a time limit. Or if you're in a time trial and you're catching these little fish, you don't want that. But, now the fish is gone. So now I can concentrate on these big girls. Well, that's the biggest one right there, so that's what I really want. not going to break. I'm pulling her in. If it was going the other way and the line okay. was getting further from the boat, line's going to break. So when you're reeling, pay attention to that left side of the screen because it's going to tell you what that fish is doing if it's getting closer to the boat or further away from the boat. If he's warning, line's going to break and he's getting further away or she's getting further away from the boat, then you know you have a big or a huge fish. You won't know until you bring the fish into the boat. Sometimes when you catch these mediums, like we thought, or at least I thought, that was a big fish. It turns out to be a medium fish. So, but there is a big one in there. We gotta find her. So that wasn't her. She's one of those two right there. I think that's her right there. But this little guy is gonna come and get it and watch. So do your little shake, shake and bake. Did that just happen? Oh, Bite. Bite. It's a little one.